Hello. We see this again. Of course we do. What is that? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know. I forgot to put my... It will be some technical things first. Like always. Hello, Jody. Hello, little Lulu. Hello to Ita Italia. Jane and Joy. Linda, hello. Julie, hello. Uh... And Massey Art Studio, guys, hello. And Tish, Sarah, Kira, Tatiana. Pozdrav iz Minhena. Pozdrav Minhen. Hi, Doris, Roxy. So, hello to everyone. Um, today will be short again my noises uh hello danielle uh so today max one hour because then i have a premiere with massey art studio jeremy and lee spicy boys collaboration so uh at, at 5 p.m eastern standard time it's my premiere, 5.30, it will be Massey Art premiere, right after mine. So check out our premiere. Um, <laughs> I did something that I never did, so um, you will see. Uh, and Jeremy and Lee did some techniques that they never did or did once, twice, maybe before. So don't want to miss that out. So that's why we have to do this quick, not quick. Uh, but quicker. So this is the dry result from our last week. My split cup pour with the same colors that um, uh karen from waterfall acrylic used but uh, i don't know i probably shouldn't have had this last layer of white but gold shines through and this uh iridescent orange yellow and it's quite interesting piece anyway uh and the coasters that i forgot that i have silicone in my paints if you remember that i dipped in runoff paint so these are dry too uh <laughs> you see some cells i was totally surprised because i forgot that i have and first i think that i will no flower dips today <laughs> with my um, dry results so this is the split cup with uh, you know that i played with mixture of polyurethane satin varnish in my white to to see what will happen and here is some iridescent orange yellow iridescent green yellow and some darker shades and I don't know, I like this painting with this little tree here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I said I don't know, I like this painting. I, I like it. Okay, so, and this is the first one that I try to do with, uh, you know, polyurethane, Vallejo polyurethane set in varnish and some blowing. So, it's quite wispy look with this and this one was the second one and as you can see dry 
really nice and these tiny lines stay there and maybe a little more color popped through so I'm quite happy with this uh, and this is the probably not the last one yes the last one that I did with just gold and black and I after I finish video I just add some black here around and I really like this webbing and gold you see it's really shining you know you can see it in some parts here underneath and here you see uh, so this is that one and this is the one that I don't know what I even do with this. I probably, yes, I blow and then I do some balloon kisses, kind of. Uh, but I like this wispiness of this mixture, almost like cloud mixture. It gives this um, effect. And here are my cups from yesterday. So this is the one that I did just, I don't know how to show this, <laughs> with the um, Bessner binder, you see, and it dried clear and all that it stayed on, it's black. But you see, you can see through it. And this one I used white and black and it's hard to show all these tiny little lines. But what I thought, I first thought that I will resin them, but I can't because I can't apply heat on this. So I will just, um, I will just varnish them and probably in this one I can add some maybe white uh, stones in it and some dry flowers or something or even grow a little tiny flower from one flower in a water you know i will show you when i what i have in my head for this and when i have this uh, binder just a binder that dries clear i just <laughs> did this um, on this wooden you know coasters and I apply binder that it dried clear and blow some black cell activator on top and it just you see leave this black around so I totally forgot I I watched this what I did here why I have this color underneath but it's wood MDF board you see through so probably all of the dry results I will just take them and I of course played with some uh, coasters I like to practice on these coasters because I I can see what I I get so you see I here I just have this um, white for a background with polyurethane and some silver and blues. They come out just nice for those who love blues. And I have paint on my finger right away. And of course I poured on some <laughs> ornaments. I forgot, here is one with some gold and red, see, kind of neat looking patterns. This is just my playing time. Okay, so as I said, I want to do this uh, kind of blown, blowing, blowing, 
straw blowing flower again and I have and I change colors I have just reds gold and green greens and I will do this on the black background I decided and of course use this white mixture with polyurethane I just have to check because it tends to thicken up a little bit so I mix just white with a little bit of polyurethane satin varnish from Vallejo for that kind of uh, cloudy look uh, and I want to see what will happen if I do it on a black background with just a little of this white, not too much. I'm looking, uh, I'm thinking that I may get some wispy, smoky looking edges. I don't know, we will see, and some lacing too. We will see what will happen. Okay, so my base is quite thin. And I will grab my gloves. Okay. So let's pour some black on. I'm using uh, what is this? Ten by ten by twelve canvas inch canvas. And I will just spread this black and then I will tilt it because I want some smooth, nice background. Because I will not, if it will not be a failure, I will not tilt it after I will blow my flowers. So I have to do my base nice and smooth. And that's where it, this black background thing comes really messy. So for those who were maybe late, uh, at 5 p.m., check out on my channel again, or you can even go right away. Pouring Marathon today on uh, my premiere with collaboration with Massey Art Studio and then to their channel, of course. I can tell you a little secret. I know that Lee did a reverse flower dip. So don't want to miss that one a little bit here and then I will be done and uh, what time uh, so if this if now is uh, 10 3 hours 7 p.m. Christina Welsh has live auction have has live auction so a lot of work today a lot to watch if you don't know who christina welsh is check her out and she has some functional art too so maybe you can find something for gifts for the holidays I just saw that I have some white spots here that I want to cover so uh, first I will add this oh I almost throw this polyurethane satin varnish mixture and you don't need a lot of paint for this because if you will add too much probably it will not be okay 
This is cadmium red middle hue. And I have some Fabeo iridescent precious gold, of course. And Faro red from Amsterdam. Okay. And here I have Australian Floatrol with white, titanium white. Or I want black. No, I should add gold on top and white probably. I will add just a little more gold. Okay. much of that smoky look that I was hoping for but okay <laughs> what I will do another one one two three and then I will add some greenery around we will see how this will look and I always drape around so what I want is gold on top. Have to remember, but it starts reacting a little bit. Gold. I probably had too much paint here. And white. Okay, and the third one, and then we will add some leaves and see what we get and where we can. Do something. This is just. Experimenting. Maybe I can bring you a little closer. I will show you a close-up because it is uh, quite a lot of interesting details. But if I will bring you closer, now you will see only my straw. And I have to grab Okay, and maybe I will combine with some swipes, not maybe, I will, for some greenery and some things. So you just play with this. I have some cards, you know, a lot of people do some kind of... Um, Swipes, smears, I don't know. It has so many names. So what I want to do is add a little of this 
white here. And try to just bring it a little down. Okay. And another one. Like this. And So maybe I can just bring you a little closer. So you see, I did get some kind of those cloudy things that I don't even know if I like them. Uh, but you can always try to, you know, blow or deep on the places that you think that you have to change. Just don't be afraid to to try new things, to play with paint. So it's not here is not uh, anything like right or wrong. It's just playing with paint and trying to create something nice so greenery i will do just some swipes for the greenery so let's add some white here and i have olive green amsterdam and yellowish green and let me add a little of this white kind of cell activator here just a new video. And I will just probably have too much of paint. Thank you, Marcy guys, spicy boys. <laughs> Okay, so what I need is a little paint here. Okay, and that's some white again. is not the right I will have to do it like this because otherwise I can do this in okay and one here I really like this green, green thing, you see? I think that they are, these leaves are beautiful. But I'm not sure about our flowers. This one is okay, this one I need something and this one too. I will go back to those two. I just want to do this greens again a little more um, 
So as you can see, you just can combine techniques, play with them, see what works. You can fix a lot of things too, so. Okay, so let's go here. And one here. Just a little more here. So white again on my card. Oops, this one wasn't the way that I was hoping for. <coughs> what I was thinking with this one. I don't know, this one is not okay. Let's try to camouflage these a little bit. Don't like that one at all. Just need a little green and <laughs> swipe over because it bothers me and a little black here and it will do it will have to because thank you darla okay and i just think that i need something more but i don't know what I definitely have to grab some white here and bring it down and a little bit here. here. I'm just thinking to, to go once more here because I don't know, I just don't like this shape of a flower. I will add a little black around but it will flow easier maybe. No. No, doesn't want to. I will leave that one too. I just think that I need a leaf or something here. I don't know, or it's enough.
What do you think? I'm afraid that I, if I will go here, that I will ruin that. But, okay, maybe a little but. Where should I add them? Maybe one here. Let's try this without this white. Just. I have to be really careful that I will not add too much paint for a bud. Okay. Hmm. How should I blow this? Okay. Thank you, Mark. Dobar večer. <laughs> okay. And now. A touch of this white and the touch of this green and the touch of this green a little bit of this and that and touch of cell activator here oops I didn't mean to bring my my red. Thank you, Janet. Janess. I didn't mean to have this red there, but now it's there. I can't help it. A little white. Thank you, Kathleen. And now I will add some green here because I think that I should. Again, let's see. Sometimes I don't know when to stop, <laughs> and maybe I should stop. I will add some cell activator here. Okay. And I will stop because otherwise ah, where did I put my skewer? See, that's, that's how it looks when I experiment. I totally fell into this process and... Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and probably I need another body here. Because now I miss something here. 
So I will do one little one here. Wait. Okay. Okay, and now some green here, and I will be done. Okay. Okay, pravo jo? Ne, je prednje. Na opuno neko. Hmm. Just leave this. I lose my lost my skewer again. What is wrong with me? A little touch is here. Okay. So, I really love this green thing, this lacing is, is beautiful, but I probably shouldn't have used this um, white with um, plop Vallejo medium satin varnish, not medium in in the blooms just in the leaves because in the leaves you see this white it's just nice but i'm not sure about here but i can do nothing about this <coughs> maybe low just a little bit here okay and I think that now it's quite Nice. Mel, hello, I didn't saw you. So, since we have 25 minutes left, I can try something else too. I have one canvas here prepared just in case if I will be on time. So what I will do is grab my <laughs> turntable and my split cup and I will add just black here in the middle. What is left? 
I don't have much black left, but it should be enough. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and in one department, I will add some of this green and a little of this white. with polyurethane and some olive green and a little more of this white on top and here will be pyro red and gold and cadmium red and a little of this white too maybe okay and I will do a split cup of course and I will I just decided that I will go like this. And where are my colors? My white totally ate all the colors, you see? Just see tiny, tiny little lines we will see how this will look you probably don't see nothing because i have but I can't pour, I should have probably add my camera differently, my camera angle, but now it is what it is. Here comes my green and red And now I will add my, oof, there was something in there, white around, this is my white that maybe it will create some pearl cells even, I don't know, we will see.
kind of like how this looks right now. I hope that I will be able to stretch this out a little bit and get some nice effects with that. You see? And here this wispy look. So I will just walk a little bit. I will leave that negative space there. But I just want to get a little, just a little bit of this off that was not what I like. Okay, and I will stop here. Do the sides, corners, I have to say. I will pour some white there. Here I need a little of this. And I see some, some cells forming, so probably, you see, just need to cover this. And then we will go to our close-up, okay? I will torch this one real quick, just a second. And I have something here. Out. You're out. Okie dokie. So, if you like to do a pour with greens and reds and don't want a big messy coloring kind of thing you can do a split cup so now i will show you a close-up and then i will need five minutes to clean this and we will see you on a premiere I will just turn these lights off that you will see it without the glare so let's try with the first one so what I like with this is green these flowers are not so uh, so so nice that I would be over the moon but I don't <laughs> I don't know I really don't I'm not a fan of uh, those kind of probably uh, but I really like that one because it has this cloudy look up there. 
Oh, and you see just some stars, white stars on the edges because of the, the polyurethane. I really like that one. I really do. Maybe I should. I don't know. <gasps> you see what I did? I sh maybe I should tilt a little of this off. I had I I thought when I put my finger in it. So I will have to tilt it a little, a little more off. So that's how it is. And the, these green lines here are beautiful. I think. So this is it. Don't go away. About 10 minutes from now starts my premiere um, for the collaboration with Massey Art Studio and right after mine. We go to Massey Art Studio channel on their premiere. So hope I see you soon and on the other video. <laughs> Bye for today.